St. Bart's, good to see you. Hope you're having a great week. Uh, I'm here with Jen to talk to you a little bit about this Sunday. Before I do, I just want to uh, let all of you know, in case you don't know, that this has been a big week in my family because we have marked our 10th anniversary of moving to the promised land that is uh, <laughs> Dallas, Texas. Uh, so yeah, 10 years ago, we got on a plane and uh, Toby hadn't been born. Ethan was, golly, uh, two, three and Tom was a year and a half. And now golly, the, one's a teenager and uh, I mean, we have a third child, it's wild. So, so, so thankful uh, to be here, but also to be here at St. Bart's. It's also, I think, uh, it is, I know, it is our 20th wedding anniversary. So, you should know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've written it down multiple places. Um, and this Sunday uh, is going to be incredible. It's uh, the third Sunday of Advent, and um, it's uh, referred to historically as Gaudet Sunday, which is a um, French word, and it just means that in... Uh, Advent's meant to be like slightly penitential because we're reminding ourselves that, yes, it is just incredible that the Lord sent a baby to save us all. But there's also the other side of it, which is that he came for a specific purpose, which was really to die. And it's so it's um, so Advent has this kind of shroud of penitence to it uh, and seriousness, gravity. Uh, but all, but this Sunday is kind of you get a little lift, uh, so it's a little, little, you know, it's going to be great. And if you, if you need a lift before Sunday, I'd really encourage you to go back onto our YouTube channel and watch our lessons uh, festival. Uh, what was it called? Festival of Blessings and Carols. Exactly, and it was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. Bill and the team did such a great job. Mm -hmm. The readers were fantastic. Yes. It was just glorious, mm -hmm. and. Um, if you noticed and you were there and if you listened to it, you'll hear I was a bit punchy in the, the brief talk I gave <laughs> because we're just looking at Mary and her voice. And um, I used uh, what I thought was an arresting phrase, uh, which is going to point us a little bit to this Sunday, uh, which is I said that um, there is something powerful about uh, listening to a woman's voice at Christmas. Uh, I was referring to Mary, and of course, um, if you want to hear more, go and watch it. If you can't sleep, put it on. You, you'll have some. You'll be asleep in no time. <laughs> but um, this Sunday, we're super thrilled that Jen's going to be speaking, and the reason for that is um, it's just it, you know the church needs to hear from both voices, men and women. <laughs> And also, um, when we uh, invited Jen to join the staff team, the scope of her role was always to be one that, yes, was uh, overlooking music, but also had a pastoral component to it, uh, which from the very beginning was, had um, preaching involved. And so we're super, um, I've used a super many words many <laughs> times now, so we are looking forward to uh, this Sunday and hearing her speak. She's speak before. She's actually uh, done lots of work in Nashville and around the country with a, with an organization called Women of Faith. And so she's no stranger to public speaking. And um, we're um, looking forward to hearing from her. Uh, you'll see there are other, and we'll get a little preview from Jen in just a moment. Uh, we have some other announcements we'd love for you just to take note of, of what's coming up. There's all the details about Sunday the 24th as well as uh, this Sunday, just below this message. Uh, in addition, we're excited about a, a course that is going to be taught in Dallas for all of the Anglican churches in Dallas by our very own Hunter and Mary Beth Allen called Teach Us to Pray. You can see the registration link below. And in addition to that, a huge thank you to those of you who have given to our end of year campaign. We were halfway there, and it's just so exciting to see the details of that are just below. And in the few moments we have left, Jen, uh, get, tell us a little bit about Sunday and uh, the, what you're thinking and, and the passage you'll be speaking from. Yeah, well, I'm so grateful to be here and um, 
to be speaking on the first chapter of John's gospel. And we're going to be continuing the theme that Chris had just brilliantly laid out of John the Baptist uh, this last Sunday. Again, go listen to that if you haven't. And really focusing on this arresting statement uh, that John makes where people are asking, who are you? Who has sent you? And he just says, I am not the Christ. And so we'll use that as kind of the bedrock for Sunday and talk about the gift of knowing who we are and who we are not. Soup. It's going to be great. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Thank you. We're looking forward to that. Uh, until then, friends, uh, looking forward to worshiping with you, and we are praying for you. Yes. Every blessing. Bye. <laughs>